Hello, everybody. My name is April Nicole, and welcome to Sister Girl Reading, Sister Girl Tarot. All right, so we're going to jump right into your reading for Leo. I did Aries. Aries is pretty interesting, but I did. Now we're doing Leo, and so feel free to um, leave a comment. I do read them. Um, this story resonates with you, cool. If not, there's many other readers out there. So check them out. Um, see what fits for you. And if not, then, you know, do your own. All right. So Leo, um, hesitancy is right here. Up oh, to a pentacle, off the bag, eight of pentacles. Okay, so someone's got two jobs, two jobs, two forms of income, or someone is struggling, they're juggling a lot. It's like you got two forms of income, or money's coming in, money's coming out, or you got a lot going on, but you can handle that shit well. I mean, with a Virgo, Leo, perhaps you, I get two jobs. What's eight of pentacles, two of pentacles for Leo? Hold on, the sun. Ooh, bitch. Ooh, this is, oh my God. Hold on, wait a minute. All right, sorry. <laughs> I got a Leo moon. I almost got excited. This ain't, I'm not even Leo, but I play with this shit, bitch. I'm a Leo moon, bitch. All right. <laughs> Yo, okay, so somebody asked, eight of pentacles, two pentacles. They finna double their income, right? They finna either get some notoriety or fame from it, right? The bottom of the deck is king of wands. But... There's somebody who is delaying their success. Their success is going to be delayed, or they're working with a bad businessman who could be a very aggressive. Or it can also be someone. It could be a man who is a business owner, but he's a little grungy, a little rude. Now here, King of Wands. Someone is also a gold digger, or they're very dependent financially. They're dependent on this divine feminine. She can make all the money. Yeah, she got the job. But the high priestess, someone has a lot of self-esteem issues. That's maybe why he's using this, this Leo man. So this Leo man is leeching off of this woman, period, point blank. So some, some dude, we think he cute, but he aggressive and controlling and he's an ass nine asshole. Somebody got, somebody got their shit together, but they dating this woman. And it's like, is this woman a gold digger? Is she using you? If, if, I don't see that because she has her own job. This is someone that's practical, loyal, dependable. The only thing that they, they're not connected though. Uh, yeah. Somebody don't know that somebody's only in it and they gonna hit it and quit it. They might come back though. And they might come back for the lovers. Somebody, it's like somebody had to fuck you over and then understand what you meant for them and then come back to you. That's some weird ass shit, ain't it? The King of Wands is like, is somebody broken in? I want to tell you they broke, but they got two jobs. How do you got two jobs and you broke? Where is your fucking accountant? Where is your accountant, sir? Somebody is broke as fuck. Yeah, Gemini. Uh, what is that? A Saturn, that could be Capricorn, Sagittarius, uh, Scorpio, any water sign. Nine of Pentacles, Virgo, Leo, Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Sagittarius, uh, any earth sign, any fire sign. What the fuck, yo? Everybody up here except for water, really. Y'all don't see the water. I do see high priestess, but that I don't get that that's a person. I get that that's an action. Uh, let's start. Let's, what the fuck is it? Why is King of Wands here? What the fuck? Why is King of Wands here? Yeah. I'm going to sit that car. Why is King of Wands here? It didn't fall out, though. Ooh, okay. Taking this one, though. Four swords. Someone's going to do a very rough time. Someone is sick. Or someone is coming out of a very bad relationship or a bad situation and it seems like to me that they're recovering from whatever were they juggling jobs or were they working themselves into oblivion why is he reversed though okay nine of wands ten of wands nine of swords will of fortune okay so somebody's got some, a whole lot of shit going on nigga. somebody cut off a lot of shit like their job or source of income, their fame. Ten of Wands is like, it was annoying carrying so many people. And it just makes me feel like the Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands is like someone who they're trying to cut off people leaning on them and depending on them. Like, nigga, get your own shit. You ever heard that saying, like, if you if you teach a man to fish, he will fish for a lifetime and you give a motherfucker some shit? Somebody says the, ha the key to my happiness is literally 
cutting off this job, this source of income, this fame, this prestige, and to come out just bare minimum. Like someone threw it all away because it was a fucking annoying. And they said, that's the only root of my happiness. So now they depended on this bitch. Wait, how you cut off all your shit just to depend on another motherfucker? He, what? How you do that? How? Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Somebody is blowing up my phone and I'm just like, what? Anyways, you might actually have that a lot. Miscommunication. Like, you tell somebody, hey, babe, I got to do something. They're like, okay, so let me keep telling you. I'm like, okay, well, you can talk to yourself until I'm done. Okay. All right. So, the nine of wands, nine of swords. I feel like someone is, like, exhausted. They just an asshole because they've been through so much shit trying to keep their shit together. Ten of wands, they are overwhelmed. Like, somebody carries a lot of people on their shoulders and then the nine of swords is like literally like someone is needing to get help with something and that's going to propel them to a better place in life that's divinely guided someone is going to fucking lose their shit what is the prince of pentacles like somebody is dependent on another motherfucker okay hold on the queen of swords Queen of Swords and the Queen of Princess. Oh, damn. Okay. First card, they fell out. The King of Swords, the Eight of Wands, the Death card, the Ace of Cups. Is someone afraid of walking away from someone? The King of Swords, the Eight of Wands, is someone that wants to talk to someone. Can I talk to you? Let's be this morning. Uh, Eight of Wands, yeah, they want to talk to someone. But they, the Death card is like, they feel stuck. The Ace of Cups is like, dis disappointments. Someone is like, is someone upset they couldn't emotionally dip and manipulate someone? Hold on, why are you two men can be fighting over one woman? What's the king of uh, king of cups reverse? Maybe somebody's upset because they couldn't start something with someone. Hold on. All these cards flipped over at the same time, so I'm not gonna take any of them yet. Okay. Why is the king of uh, cups reverse? Okay. The six of pentacles and the moon. Cooking Pisces. Someone. Look like they were shortchanged, taking advantage of, ripped off, robbed. Um, some secret will come out. Uh, somebody is emotionally manipulative. The King of Cups is, he's usually not a good guy. He's emotional. He usually has the shit together, but this time, not so much. He could be disconnected from intuition. He could be disconnected from logic or reasoning. Also, the King of Cups is someone that's emotionally vulnerable or overly sensitive. They're like, pull off, crying on the floor. Like, they pick yourself up. Somebody is using emotional shit and psychological shit to hurt people. It could be a Pisces. If so, this motherfucker is upset or disappointed about something like someone isn't isn't made of something. Like the Queen of Swords is very intellectual, but someone feels as if something someone wants to talk to someone. But they feel like if they talk to somebody, it will end the relationship and they're disappointed. Or someone doesn't feel like someone has what it takes to be something. The death card is like stuck. This man is stuck and he's emotionally upset about his new beginning not starting because he feels like someone is not. Someone has the will of fortune on their side and they don't. It's interesting. It says Pisces here for Scorpio. Uh, what's the Queen of Pentacles? It's unbeknownst to this woman though. This woman has nothing to do with it. What's the Queen of Pentacles in the book? It'll come out though. Uh, the star. False sense of security. Like someone doesn't, yeah, someone's unfucking suspecting as hell. What is the Six of Pentacles in the book? Uh, Prince of Pentacles? Okay, hold on. Yeah, okay, so this is some type of gossip or news this can also be someone that is eloquent in speech something will come out about this air sign person that they were stealing money from the job could have been dealing with a capricorn could have been a group project with three people i get that someone's going to 
come clean about a, a, some type of action. It could be an air sign or it could be gossip about it. Or someone could be spying on someone trying to collect data. Uh, someone could, the devil, if they get, if they get in trouble, they're going to get out. This white lady going to get out of jail. She's going to be disappointed. Um, someone also doesn't want to fuck someone over. Six of Pentacles, they don't want to be shady. They don't want to talk to someone in secret. Um, even if they feel like the relationship is toxic, they don't want to tell this person. The Seven of Swords is like they're afraid of getting found out. The devil is like releasing someone because they not feel very strongly about this person. It could go either way. It's just so many cards here. I'm going to define the rest and look at these packs so I can figure out what the hell those are. Over there. All right. We got the Prince of Wands, Ten of Swords, the World, and the Lovers. That's crazy. So we know the Gemini or Sagittarius. Double Gemini's here at home. Two more cards. Seven of Wands, the Magician. Someone could be standing up what they believe in, what they created. Um, they could also be standing up for a magical relationship in which they felt they had people continuously questioned. Um, for you, Leo, I feel like you're going to come back. You're going to have a comeback, but you're going to have to fight against people that, that don't like you or want to see you fail. What is the Prince of Wands? Okay. Is there a lot? What is the Prince of Wands in Leo? Okay. The Prince of Cups. Ooh, okay. So you got two men competing for your affection, Leo. Someone wants to offer you some dick. What's the Prince of the Cups? The Prince of Okay. See that Ace of Wands right here in the Five of Swords showing. Yeah, somebody wants to offer you King of Wands not forthcoming about this woman. Yeah, somebody asked on some other shit. Somebody wanted to offer you some dick, right? But they they efforts got sabotaged. So they thought about it, they healed, and they Felt like the relationship went left. Didn't I tell you somebody want, wanted to fuck or do some goofy shit? They ending you or they coming back to you and some goofy shit. Five of Swords came out too. Somebody is on some other shit. So basically, Prince of Prince, somebody wants to fuck you and they want to delay you. It could be it's this Pisces hangman. It could be dealing with a Pisces, a Scorpio, a Cancer, all, all the water signs up here, or a Sagittarius, Scorpio. All the water signs are up here. Somebody wants to fuck. Or they thought about fucking, and then they they walked away from a relationship that could have been third party. So somebody's trying to offer you some dick, but they felt like you didn't want it. Uh, what is the Ten of Swords? That could be an ending, or maybe someone's ending that behavior. Okay, Prince of Prince of Pentacles. Someone is ending that behavior. So someone is ending the fact that they are. They used to be an ancient guy. What's the world? Okay, I don't want. And the sun. So Leo, they're ending it. They're coming back to you, exhausted, or they feel as if they're holding on to you, Leo. Someone's coming back. Temperance is about a lot of drama and letting things kind of work itself out. It'll kind of work itself out on its own. And the Eight of Pentacles, or Eight Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Someone is just hoping that this will. If this is a business opportunity. opportunity Maybe someone is getting rid of the fact they used to be a user and they're coming back to you, but you're trying to cut them off. You're famous. You don't need them. It could be a Sagittarius or any earth sign or, yeah, the uh, Empress is uh, beauty. That's, that's Venus. Okay. So y'all need to come back to a lover. Let's see. What's up, Leo? What's up with the magician, the lover, and the seven of wands? Some of y'all fighting off love like a motherfucker. What's the lovers? Seven of Wands, Nine of Swords, okay? So some of y'all are definitely, some of y'all could be cheating on y'all spouse intellectually or mentally. You don't really want to be there, Leo. You guys have some type of sexual relationship on the side that you don't know anyone, anyone doesn't know about. You contemplate on doing something mentally. Some of you are ending a relationship or, or getting therapy for your relationship in Leo. What is a magician? Are you trying to create that spark with the magician? The Seven of Cups, temptation. Maybe trying to bring some fucking temptation, some sexual energy in the fucking relationship, like for real. The lovers and the nine of swords. I feel like someone either thought about cheating or creating another relationship or someone put the fucking element of fucking getting some ass. Someone bought it off though, didn't think about cheating. They're like, eh. What's seven of wands? What is the seven of wands? Okay. These cards, people. For some, yeah, somebody thought about it. They said, it ain't going to fix the problem. I just be going out there in that competitive game. Some could also be fighting off dating. They feel like it'll be no point. 
someone is tempted about the idea, but they ain't really finna do it. They like, nah, I'm good. So someone, your spouse be thinking about cheating on you, but they're like, eh, it's not worth it. Maybe because you are a really good thing, they just feel like the relationship is missing something. It's time to inject some sex to that motherfucker for real. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Come on, y'all. It's sex in every which way. Uh, anything else to end the reading for Leo? Oh, damn. Ooh, somebody is definitely going to come into some money. Hold on. These cards were all around. I don't want to take all of them, but I will. I will tell you what they mean, but I don't... It's something, it's something about this guy that I just told you about. Somebody is broke, and they come in your way, but they come with some shit that they're not done with. Somebody is depressed, and they got some baggage. It could be an Aquarius, a water sign, a Scorpio, Capricorn, Aquarius. Somebody is broke as hell. Five of swords, the bottom of the deck. Hell yeah, somebody is up to no good. Get out of here. Okay, yo, some of y'all, right? Some of y'all, the high priestess is secrets coming out. There could be some type of secret coming out. Maybe that you're a gold digger or that you've been using people for money. The high priestess can be turning people down. It can also be treachery and bullshit. Now, the page of pentacles is about someone that's a gold digger or someone that is depressed or emotionally disconnected, or they could be very, very um, obsessed with something. Money, security. Someone is wasted. You could be finding out that your kids been wasting shit. Small little things, Leo. Yeah. But I get here that something was karmically meant to happen. Maybe you lost your job. Let's see, what's the page of pentacles in the high priestess? Some of y'all can be some real readers. Okay, hold on. The Six of Wands, the Chariot, and the Eight of Wands. Okay, so if you are Leo, here you are. It's mostly Aries, Leo. Um, let's see here. Uh, Six of Swords. It's, I get that somebody asked Six of Swords. They are complicated or afflicted about leaving something. Let me a secret relationship. Y'all have some type of secret glue on the side. Chariot, they want to leave a home, but they depend on someone. Or, um, someone wants to leave a secret, but they can't. They got too much baggage. They want to leave the dependent on someone else. Could be this Queen of Wands. Could be this Cancer. Cancer Leo. Uh, what's the Will of Fortune out of Cups? Somebody gonna get, somebody gonna get stuck. Wish. Somebody's gonna get out. Somebody's stuck. Page of Swords. Some Seven of Swords. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody is finna get out and they finna say shit. <laughs> I told you. Look, eight of cups, seven of pentacles, they like. Yeah, they like, ha. Somebody is either walking away to a relation. They don't really know if they want to walk away to this new project. See the seven of pentacles? That's uncertainty and doubt. They're like, eh, it's a new opportunity. Like, eh. Okay? Someone is gonna tell that you've come up on something, Leo. This air sign is gonna gossip. It's karmic. Someone gonna be mad at you because you, you that bitch. And they gonna gossip, they gonna get caught talking shit about you because you that bitch. Queen of Pentacles. You gonna move away from that bullshit and step into your, your rightful M. See, you all right? Damn, size fucking made, y'all. I wanna know if this seven of swords and nine of, sword, nine of cups is. What's that? Damn, I can't even What's nine of cups? Damn, okay. Six of wands. It's coming. At the autumn setbacks. It's coming. What's six of wands? Is that damn? The justice card. Oh shit. Maybe it comes after a divorce. Or some type of legal contract. Or something doesn't work out the way you hoped. Let's see. What's seven of swords, nine of cups? Seven of swords, six of wands, nine of cups, and the justice card for Libra. Damn, tower moment. So someone had a tower moment. Damn. Tower is not always bad, though. What's the tower? Oops. Queen of Swords. Yeah, this bitch had a tower moment. Okay. So somebody could have been plotting against you, Leo, hoping that you would fail, hoping that your efforts would just plot and plummet, and you became successful, and that's their tower moment. They feel betrayed. So someone put so much energy into two queens, uh, three queens, Women were working against you, Leo. Three women. They don't like your ass. They not even they they not reversed, so they were all in on it. 
could be the same bitch. But somebody asked, could have been two, three older women and three younger women, or they childish asses in form. The Queen of Pentacles or the Queen of Wands, her job was to get you to her, get you to wherever you need to go. You could have been moving in with this bitch, right? But you were apprehensive. It said that you knew some shit was up. Somebody was trying to leech off of you, or you were going to leech off someone, or someone, it wasn't going to be a good situation. It was going to depress you. If I ain't going to even say you were going to leech off someone, it's going, it was going to be bad. Now, this air sign is Libra. This motherfucker was going to get found out. She was the patsy. Someone they knew wasn't going to pretty much be anything. The Wheel of Fortune is like something karmic. So they, they were karmically set up to be the patsy. It's like if something went wrong, they were the ones that were going to take the blame. The Seven of Swords and the Six of Wands kind of makes me feel like something got, got found out. And it was to the demise of the Queen of Swords. Now this Queen of Pentacles, she she gets locked up. Or she moves away from the bullshit. She has nothing to do with it. So she ends up scooped off. So there could be a Sagittarius that actually moves and they end up leaving and they leave this Queen of Swords how to drive and this Queen of Wands she backed up in traffic trying to get to the scene like bitch might not even want to go there bitch um but someone could be a secret partner and not get found out that they were really on some shit this Queen of Wands could be a fire sign or a beauty queen the Queen of the yeah the Queen of Swords she about to get some type of device damn could be a Libra or a Virgo Scorpio too alright Anything else for Leo? Leo, y'all be all crazy. Y'all, y'all birthday month gonna be crazy. Good luck. Happy birthday. Anything else for me? Okay. Eight of Swords, release. Releasing motherfuckers. Could be somebody get out of jail. The Emperor. Reverse. You are definitely leaving someone. The Strength Card and Three of Swords. Maybe you took somebody back. Somebody showed their ass. And then they gave you a false sense of security. Or they came back depressed and controlling. Maybe you're forgiving someone, Nine of Cups, that could be your Nine of Cups. Someone could be keeping you from a man. Anything else for Leo? The sun. Here you are, shining bright. It's swords, releasing shit. All right, y'all, I see Will of Fortune peeking, see? Will of Fortune was peeking, bitch. So was that tower, though. I don't know what side you on, but bitch peeking. All right, if you want a reading from me, please feel free to text me, 702-969-5427-982. And I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for joining.